Hey guys, welcome back. I think we are where we should be, which I don't know what that is. Oh, never mind, I know where we are. There's a boss battle coming up. Make sure we've got resources for it. Oh, there's a boss battle coming up. Make sure we've got resources for it. Chocolate, yep. Alright, we've got enough. Boss battle's not that hard, but just in case. Uh, the whole area is covered in plants. No one can get through all this. Hmm. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want Orin sneaking past us. Unless he's the one that blocked it off? Val, I surrender. I don't know anything about growing plants. This foray is fascinating. Practically none of this flora was included in the almanacs of my adolescence. There's no getting around it. We have to ask the Elemental of Wood for help. Great idea! If the Elemental doesn't know what's wrong, no one will. Aww, I wanted to be the one to rub it in Julie's face when we found the answer. Sorry to disappoint you, Karina. But we haven't got the time to waste on fumbling around in the undergrowth. Dryad is the Elemental of Wood, and well-versed of these wilds. But who can say where we may find her? Would that I knew. At times like these, it's best to ask the locals. Ugh, great. Gotta bother Julie again. Just what I need. Huh? It can't be. Oh god, how did you get here? I follow this all the way up here. Hello again, weary travelers! What a surprise! How did you get here? Don't you know there's a big old stock that reaches all the way up here? My sisters and I didn't want to waste this once in four years opportunity, so we climbed up. We figured now is the perfect chance to gather exotic ingredients like verdius nectar for flavorings and potions. Besides, this place has everything! Ancient forests, dangerous pilgrimages, mysterious Gaian explorers! What's not to like? Sounds like you three have a full itinerary. Wait a minute. Did you say Gaian explorers? Where did you see one of those? Oh, there was a dashing young adventurer of that description over by the tree. We saw him ahead of us. We did lose track of him, though. Had to focus on keeping me our footing and all. <sighs> Oren's on his way. Did you see a sproutling around here? Short, green, leafy? No, I don't mm, think so. Nope. But I sure would love to meet a sproutling in the flesh. Uh, bark? <laughs> I guess not sound good. Ah, what was that? A terrifying cry, that's what! It came from the direction of my right, woods. I think it's a cry, guys. <gasps> Could be Jule, or even Orin. Let's check it out. Oh, before you go, do me need to stock up on anything? Now's your chance. Anything you want for a price. Of course. Grab the goods you need to save your friend. Don't get stingy now. Buy, buy, buy. They're the spitting image of father in miniature. Oh yeah. That cry was coming from Milos. We have to check it out. Yes, Be sure to talk to my merchant sisters if you need to stock up. Welcome! Peruse out your leisure. I see you right. happy doing business with you. And some new weapons, guys. I see you happy doing business with you. I see you happy doing business with you. Alright, uh huh. Oh, guys, I found out what kind of person I am now. I'm a bit more relaxed. I'm not going to be as excited as a lot, a lot of other people do. Because any day I do what I do. I don't care about trends or what people used to do in the past. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. We've got to find out where that noise is coming from. Alright, let's get going. So if I'm correct, there should be a boss battle. We might end up running into two boss battles in this one, actually. Oh, yep. Yeah. That looks like a troublemaker. Julie, what are you doing over there? What 
What am I doing? What are you doing? We can handle this. Stand back. We call this critter Grapple Vine. It was too strong for me to uproot it when it decided to nest near the burrow. Be careful. It's coming for us. Get ready, everyone. All right, guys. So this boss battle was one of the first boss battles in the. We need to beat man. our enemies like this one. One of the Wait, first ones. The first you, one. You troublemaker. Why I would probably a good attack on it. I don't think these things would be a problem. Oh, oh, Alright, poison. I'm gonna wipe out these plants, guys. Ah, I've had kill this dude. I think he's dusty. Here, use this! The elemental battle is ready! <laughs> Ow! That hurt. Alright, we're getting harassed, guys. We've got to get these guys out of the way first. Come on! Alright, you're not close to him now. And you're dead. Are you dead? Alright, it should be all of them. Now he's gone, guys. He's nothing to stop us. He's going to death. It's coming right of course. Um, we know this wet enemy is quick as fire, so... Um, once I kill my team members, we'll do something about it. Alright, so we can use fire safer on everyone. Now. Alright, see you. Ow! Ow, we kill you. We're wearing it down. Yes, now is the time to strike. You ready, bud? Alright, come here, can't say. Alright, sir. Now, fire attack should be enough to beat it. Alright, we're in a beat it. So, the elemental is really helped out. I don't usually use it, but. It worked out this time. Alright, I think that was good, guys. Eight minutes where we've been in a boss. You... you saved me. Thanks. It was a close call. We were almost too late. Why did you wander off on your own? Oh, look in the mirror, buddy. Oh, now what? I mean, that you made me wonder if Grapple Vine might be the cause of the problems in the burrow. Don't get me wrong, this could all still be by the goddess's will. But I wasn't quite as sure anymore. And you all seem so convinced that something could be done, so... I wanted to check. But then I got attacked! Huh. And here I thought you were mad at us again. Glad to see we've convinced you to change your stubborn ways. That's... one way to put it. That's a more accurate way to put it. doesn't just fall into your lap every time. Maybe. But you weren't able to figure out what keeps the flowers from blooming either, right? <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not experts in gardening. But when in doubt, it's best to ask for help. Julie, do you know where the elemental of wood is? <laughs> dryad? Easy peasy. Let me give her a ring. Oh, Dryad. You got here fast. Were you nearby? Oh, forgive me. That is to say, I was looking for you, Julie. Oh. And then I saw you were tied up with Grapple Vine and wasn't certain what to do. You'll fight. Oh, dear. The alms. Please excuse me. I 
costume known as Dryad. A particular pleasure indeed, Dryad. We were just inquiring as to your whereabouts. Yes, I could hear you from over there, and I think I may know what caused all of this fuss. As Julie guessed, Grapplevine was the one behind it all. It absorbed all the nutrients from the plants, stunting their growth. That's why the flowers wouldn't blossom. Well, the monster is gone now. So that means... The flowers, my friends! Dryad, this is great. There'll be an alm after all. Mm-hmm. We can expect the blooms at any moment. Gee whiz! There's still so much to do. I have to get ready to welcome the fairy. Meet you back in Verdius. He's got some spring in his step now. Could I ask you, Alps, and you, Sir Solgard, to join Jule? Sure. Irregular as this situation may be, you will be one of the few pilgrimages to see the flowering firsthand. That should count for something, I think. He seems to be a bit passive, not very... in a better mood. I guess he gets grouchy when he's worried. Lucky for us. Us. For now, let's head to the appointment ceremony of what? the Home of Wood. Who me young and me for that? <laughs> ah, food time, that's what it is. Dryad, come on! Shake a root! Again, my apologies for the delay. I was considering Verdius's future and consulting with the denizens of the woods and such. <sighs> now then, let me see. With this spring breeze, I bid the trees awaken, bloom forth. What are you doing? Huh? There you go. Oh, unexpected. No flowers on the sleeping trees, but a flower blossoming right out of your head. Ow! Blossoming sproutling julie. By the grace of the goddess of mana, I name you the Alm of Wood. Ah, this scent is divine! I'm curious about what happened to it, um, of, um, light and dark. My hibernating friends didn't bloom. I did. A humble custodian like me? An Alm? I thought only dormant sproutlings were fated to blossom. Oh! Yes, well, you see, I was planning to choose you from the very beginning. That's why I went searching for you. Would you, Jule, be my emissary to the mana tree and fulfill the duty of the Alm of Wood? <laughs> you got it, Dryad! Oh, but if I'm the Alm of Wood, who will stay to tend and water my sleeping friends? They could brown or, or shrivel up and wither without proper hydration. I I can't leave them alone like that, Dryad. That'd be worse than any disaster that could befall Verdius. No, but it, trust me. Julie? Huh. Come to us. We have a message for you. Wait, that's... Julie? What's wrong? I can hear my friends. They want to tell me something. Come on, let's go talk to them. You mean you talk to them or we listen? I didn't notice anything, but I guess Jule could hear the voices of his friends. Better stick with him and check this out. Yes, you're right there, dude. What? All right, guys, give me a moment. I'm gonna come. I'll have to. I'm gonna feed the cats before they eat me alive. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I was feeding him, but he ran away, so we can wait now. Joy, oh, I think it's good. you kept us company with your joyful singing. We asked Dryad to choose you as the arm on our behalf. 
That monster in Milo's woods has been draining us of our mana. We have nothing to spare on our butts. <laughs> Grapplevine is defeated, but it will take time before we can bloom again. Too much time to avoid the destruction of the burrow. But what will you do without a custodian? You'll dry up. <laughs> Don't worry about us. Things will work out. Believe in the future of the burrow. We need you to convey the wishes of the Sproutlings to the mana tree. But you've all waited so long for the chance to be an alm. I can't take that honor away. Then use this, and together we will see the future flourish. Alright, I think it's, yeah, it's hers. Wowee, the elemental vessel. Dryad Sprig. Uh, oh, dear. So that's where it went. We forgot to return it before we went to sleep. Sorry. <sighs> but now that our work here is done, I think it's time to go back to sleep. Yes, it is. Enjoy the mana tree, Jule. We will. We're so close to it. We'll see each other again. We're very close to the mana tree, guys. We're like a few Take areas away. Take the words away. of encouragement from your countrymen to heart. You're lucky they can see you off on your journey. There was no one left in my hometown of Etern to wish me luck when I left with Val. But maybe, just maybe, there's a chance at bringing some life back to the parish if I complete the alms duty. That's my hope, at least. Molly's right. <sighs> it would have been nice to leave the veil with everyone's blessing, but sometimes it doesn't work out like that. Everyone at home always told me I wasn't fit to be an alm. But this journey has given me a lot to think about now that I'm here. And this from the person lecturing me about alms and duties just a moment ago. <laughs> huh. Sounds like the pilgrimage hasn't been easy so far. Thanks for putting up with me earlier. I look forward to our journey together. As short as it is. The mana tree is just over there, after all. Happy to have you, Julie. All right, oh, all right, guys. So, man, it's really just over there, the but it's not gonna be that simple. Way out of Verdius. Um, I apologize. That was my doing. I wanted to ensure that the path to the mana tree was protected. I will clear the way. Please give me a moment. All right, cool. We've got the Dry Spring. Yeah, so he's a healer. It'll be really good, guys. I don't really need so to heal that much. Now, though, I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Where is it? All right, there is one thing we can do. Um, Born's can still out there. Whatever I can do to prepare, I should do it in the burrow. Power of men! All right, let's go. Let's go. I'm brimming with power. Dryad, we made it. Oh, good! I shall open the path for you. Heave, heave, and a whoosh! All right. There you are! We have come upon the far corner of Milos Woods. Once we get out of here, our goal should be in sight. Um, excuse me, Sir Solgard? Beyond these trees is what is known as the Sanctuary of Mana. Unfortunately, only the alms are permitted to enter. The soul guard cannot go past the entrance. Yeah, I know. Either way, first I have my duty to Hina to fulfill. I will get her core stone back. The merchant sister saw Orin when they were going up the jack tree, right? You're not gonna wait for him here, are you? If only we had an idea of his plans, we could try and head him off. I don't know the fact. But if this Aaron went to the trouble of climbing up to Lucia, he probably wants something from the mana tree, right? Why don't we stick together at least until we reach the entrance? Who knows? Maybe he'll come to you. You're right. Let's forge ahead for now. Oh, do be safe on your travels. Yeah, there's still two more guys that we haven't found. So when I was playing this, I was like... Uh, so this one will do. Um, 
Mark, what? We're so close to the mana tree, but we've still got two of them we haven't discovered yet. There's a reason why I put that, and I'll probably be doing it in this video too. Got to get past the next area relatively quick, which is next area is not too bad, so. There's a bit of battling now and there, There's but it's not that bad. There's a barrier around the mana sanctuary. Only alms are able to cross it, I am afraid. What? Really? But what if we get surrounded by monsters and we don't have Val to take them on? Don't worry. No monsters can trespass in the sanctuary. Sounds like Morley did his research. The goddess protects the sanctuary from monsters with that barrier. Milo's woods and the sanctuary of mana are all a part of the spirit realm. Or they were at least. The what now? Spirit realm? Well, it's a realm, but for spirits. It's where elementals and sproutlings came from. In the past, it used to be separate from the mortal realm, where humans live. The Mana Goddess used to be able to protect the spirit realm from monsters. But when all the realms merged, that changed. Why did they merge? Merged, you say? Yup. Once monsters began to emerge in Milos, the Goddess had to create the barrier to protect the sanctuary. It's really strong. Strong enough to protect the Goddess and the Mana Tree. So don't worry. There's no way a silly monster could break through and get us. Uh oh. Well, yeah, okay, monster then. maybe, but if I'll get sure. humans. I mean, I essentially shouldn't be able to go in there, but I'm pretty sure you can. All right, let's go. Every place we visit is unique. Under the cliffs was not nearly as unsullied as this climate. We are pretty close to the manor tree. Look, nearly anyone but the convoy of arms ever passes through here. Are you fond of music, Julie? Sure am. I've composed 1,460 original songs to date. 1,460 songs? What? Over already? Yep. This is kind of exciting. Nice! Oh, yes, I know. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, this thing here, I don't, I'm not a big fan of it. Take it away. Got some syrup. Yeah, okay, yeah, we should be able to. Yes. All right. Not to be nosy, but have you noticed that Val is out a lot? Oh, that's probably when he's thinking about Hina. Huh? Being good is a lot of strange hangups. <laughs> <laughs> Take this! Take this! Alright, let's get going. Taking this? Grizzly! Ah, so that's what he's thing is. Let's plan our next move. Pretty far in. Taking this? Go on your arm. Let's do this one. Power of men! Take it away! Jule, don't your feet hurt from walking on this terrain without shoes? Hurt? Why would they hurt? These feet were made for walking. What about you? Don't your feet get tired of being crammed in those stiff things all day? No. I never thought about it like that. Taking this? Got some syrup. <laughs> All right, let's grab this first. Help us out! Remember, power is needed. Feel the magic! 
trunks and make ample use of the spirit's power. I can't go that way. Definitely be coming back here guys. We'll need to use another power. Taking this? Oh, do not worry. Fall to the ground, guys. It's not the end of the world. Just get out of it quickly. Let me see. Is this? area a bit later once we get a bit more stuff over down the track we'll come back to flash the area take it away I can't do this whole area at the current time so no point really rushing it alright we're here this is kind of exciting nice but yeah guys all that's all I want, so everything on the um, west side is not good at the moment. Oh, I can collect some of them, but not all. There hasn't been an alm of the moon for a while now. Yes, I'm the first in many years, thanks to Val and the others. I'm not that up to date on current affairs down below, but I'm sure that wasn't easy. <laughs> Alright. Help us out! <laughs> thanks for the pick me up. We're nearly there. Grizzly! Loads of grizzly syrup. Let's give some to the dead bears. This is kind of exciting. Nice. All right, that one's done. Let's rest up. That one's done. All right. Resonance. All right, I think that's it for this area. Oh, at least what we can do. Thanks. Oh, wow. This place is beautiful. The way the sun shines upon the verdure looks just like a scene from a fanciful fairy tale. I assume every convoy before us has also marveled at this view. The entrance to the sanctuary is up ahead. Nearly there, Foley. <laughs> Not getting away. Yeah. 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 Yeah
All right. Ooh, that's a lot of money. with us was foolish. That's a lot of cash. A lot of carry. This is kind of exciting. Is this? All right. We're getting to the next section, guys. Nearly done at the moment. Um, I'm extremely late tonight, guys, so I'm not doing any streams tonight, I don't think. I think I'll just wait for tomorrow. We're here. This is the entrance to the Sanctuary of Mana itself. Finally! I'm a bundle of nerves. Excited, anxious, the works. But I guess the mana tree is gonna have to wait. First, we need to get Hina's core stone. The tree is all the way inside the sanctuary past the gateway, safely tucked away from trespassers and mischief makers. Orin is likely to be loitering in this location. This is our last mission before we reach our journey's end. Yes, it is. You said something about a sword being kept here, right? I sure did. Want to see? It's stuck in a huge rock. You can't miss it. This is where things go downhill, guys. <clears throat> things go downhill really fast. Oh. Getting quiet to know me, guys. Take this. Take this. Know why. <clears throat> yes. Finally, we've arrived in the domain of the map. There's the sword. All right, guys, watch out. This is going to go bad. Huh? Is that? Yep. That's the one and only mana sword. Oh, and a visitor. Orin? Val, I'm sorry. This was the only way I could get my hands on the mana sword. That's why you're here? The sword? That's right. Do you even know the miracles I can perform with this power? I can save Liza, cure her of her cursed petrification, and... That's not even the half of it. She's still the Alm of Earth. Until I can release her, she'll never be free. That's why I need the sword. I have to change the world for the better. Get rid of the Alm's sacrifice altogether, so that our loved ones don't have to die to preserve the future for the rest of us. You're saying you sacrificed Hina's life in order to save Liza? We trusted you, Orin. Both of us did. And you betrayed us! As the Soul Guard, you're charged with ensuring the Alms meet their ends by completing the pilgrimage. You were prepared to lose Hina then? I just made her sacrifice come a little earlier than expected. For the sake of the world, oh, you can hate me. I won't blame you. Mm. But with my plan, we'll never have to sacrifice another person ever again. Alms will no longer have a reason to exist. We'll be freed from this horrible tradition of loss and regret. I mean, I understand where he's coming from. <clears throat> I understand his point. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, but I think Orin might be right about this. Hina and other alms before her were denied the life they wanted to live. His words are tempting. Val, you can't. Even so. Even so. The alms have never been just a means to an end. Not to me. Their sacrifice has to mean more than that. This world exists because the alms carry with them the hopes and dreams of all those who came before and those who will come after them. I know in my heart that this world is sick. But Hina was never meant to be used as a pawn by anyone. Of course she wasn't. None of us want her life to be lost in vain. There has to be a way to obtain the Mana Sword without Hina's core stone. Regardless, this should not be your call. It is pitifully presumptuous of you to assume you know the wishes of all arms, past and present. My Sproutling friends entrusted me with this duty, and I mean to see it through. You don't speak for me, mister. Thanks, everyone. As long as I have friends on this journey who need me, I'll continue to serve them as the Soul Guard. Even if we end our pilgrimage at the Mana Tree, I'm in charge of my own destiny. Hina is my responsibility. You have to return her core stone now, Orin. 
You can't yeah. stop no, this. He's stuck on Without him. a core stone, I can't pry the mana sword from this rock. I have to bring back the world of Fadiel for Liza. No. For all of us who don't I mean, want to lose the people we hold I dear. That. In the past, there were no alms to sacrifice. Mortals, spirits, Benevidon monsters, even the goddess herself, all lived in the different realms that made up Fadiel. But years ago, the five realms were condensed into one. That mangled world was called Kidiel. It's the world that you and I know today. With the power of the Mana Sword, we can return Kidiel to the Fadiel it once was. Split it into a world that doesn't need to have soul offerings. The Mana Sword is right in front of us. They say that only the Chosen One can wield it. If that's the case, then that's just what I'll be. Even if it means betraying my friends, my village, I will have the sword. I mean, the sword's huge compared to his sword, tiny little size. Doing with Hina's core stone. Oh boy. So he doesn't know what bad luck is coming out of that thing. No, Hina. This guy's bad news. Just look at him. You're the voice I heard from the megalith, aren't you? Stop it! Hina! Well, you failed that. Hmm. Earth shall be first. Earth? Give me that sword! I earned it! Orin! He's a, he's a warrior. He's not gonna be basically. Return crazy. his core stone now! You are not even worth the stretch of my sword arm. It can't be. Philophos? After all this time? My, my. Correct, Sproutling. Your reward is the ruination that awaits you all. Always a bad guy. So this guy's worse than any monster. He can't have this course I won't let him. I never saw myself battling against the two of Dilbert in this lifetime. Next. Take my wouldn't you just attack that is in like special yeah. position. You gotta beat him as best you can. Now, are you? Alright. 
kicking our asses. I don't know if we can back to you so I can heal. Here we go. Thanks, pull back, pull back. Dear boy, he's killing us. Come on, let's go! Alright, let's go. Let's go. I hate how they does this. It's a mobile one! He's working in. Alright, finally. <laughs> now he's getting angry. He's far too powerful. There's no way we can win this. All our advances will be futile if our adventure ends here. I'm all for retreating personally. <laughs> I mean, it's only you, sir. Oh, he's something grabbed him. Trent? You're helping us? This land will not be desecrated by the powers of evil on my watch. Never thought I'd see the Overseer of the Sanctuary intervene like this. Now is the time to withdraw no. arms. No! I can't just run away. I have but to save choice. Nina. I have to get her core stone. Listen, this isn't a fight we can win right now. We have to pull back. That's about it for that one, guys. So, so a bit more um, stressful than I expected. So I won't be going back up there anytime soon, guys. I'm pretty much caught up to where I am in my solo, so there's no reason to take day night off. I should be able to beat or mostly beat this game in my. Ugh, curse it all! Now Hina's core stone is. How did a man like that get trapped outside the sanctuary? For Wheeler Woe, he knows not our whereabouts. Trent's probably keeping him plenty busy. First things first, who is Trent? For that matter, who is De La Huzin? Golly, you don't know anything, do you? I'm not a historian, but I'll summarize what I can. Of course. Trent is one of the goddess's emissaries. He watches over the entrance to the sanctuary to keep the people who aren't supposed to be in there out. I guess you could call him a neutral overseer. His job is to protect the goddess, but he's not exactly one to stick his leaves into the business of the alms who come his way. We're lucky we got him in a good mood, or we'd be goners. Yeah, I noticed. As for the gentleman who is sealed away in the rock, his name is Delophos. Long ago, he tried, and failed to overthrow the mana goddess herself. <gasps> Inconceivable! He might be the reason we need arms. it looks like that long nap didn't change his mind about revenge, either. Overthrow the goddess? But why would he do that? Don't oh. ask me. We weren't friends or anything. When Delphos was defeated the first time, his power splintered, scattering all across the mortal realm. Lost to time and memory. You're saying that the form we just fought wasn't even close to his true strength. That's about the gist of it. If you ask me, Thalophos is going to need to find the rest of his fragmented power before he does anything else. This complicates our current mission considerably. Given your age, I am fascinated by the breadth of your familiarity with history, Jule. I love to learn myself, but I have not heard half the stories you have related to us.
my age? Oh, right. I keep forgetting how little you know about spirit folk. Sproutlings have a very, very long lifespan. That guy from before, Orin, was it? He mentioned something about Ki and Fadiel, right? When I first sprouted, the world was called Fadiel. I know what I say sometimes sounds like ancient folklore, but it really was the world I grew up in. You mean to tell me you're actually an old man? Huh, the fact that I'm older than I look is your takeaway from all that? I'm only 17. Should I be, I don't know, more respectful? Uh, sir? <laughs> nah, there's no need to get stuffy on me now, Sonny. More importantly, we gotta do something about Dalafos. And soon, the places where his divided power is being kept are the exact same ones where the Benevidons are locked away. Benevidons? Yup. Dalafos will have to release the seals to take back his power, which, lucky us, means the monsters can break loose. There must be some mistake. I have read the old texts, and the Benevidons were felled by the legendary sword of the ancient hero Dalafos. The goddess bequeathed her blade to her champion to aid him in his adventure. It is an epic tale passed down through the generations mm. in prose and performance alike. Golly, they made plays? Mortals sure do like to talk about things they don't understand. Then, do you think the story's gotten warped over the years? Well, it is true that Dalefus was sent to destroy the Benevidons. So wait, what's the problem? If both Palomina and Jule's accounts are to be believed, then Dalefos must be planning to revive his once defeated foes, using those great monsters to visit his wrath upon the Mana Goddess. If he's as stubborn as I remember, that's exactly what Dalefos wants. Resurrecting the Benevidons will throw the whole world out of whack. Even completing our pilgrimage wouldn't be enough to balance things out. Getting Hena's core stone from Orin is one thing. How are we supposed to take it from an ancient hero? Right now, we're the only ones who know that Dalefos is back. There's no one else we can turn to. So you do intend to go after him? I don't care if he's some legendary champion. He still took Hina's core stone, and I won't let him get away with it. I'll go with you. It's way too late to turn back now, anyway. Plus, I don't think my friends back in the borough would want me to abandon the rest of the alms to go to the mana tree on my own. It was never my intention to stay behind. The more of us stand against the enemy, the easier the fight will be. You'll need backup. As a former dignitary, I cannot condone an individual such as Delafos destroying any domain, no matter how diminutive. Delafos got the drop on us last time. Without the element of surprise, we can take him. And Hina's core stone, for that matter. Now that that's settled, what's next? Ooh. Let's not go back to the sanctuary yet. I think that tree guy might be mad at us for the mess we left behind. Delafo said something about Earth after he woke up, right? Do you think he meant Guju? Well, yeah. The Benevidons are sealed away near where each alm is chosen for the pilgrimage, of course. But Liza and Watts are still in the area. We have to get back to Guju. I'm worried for Liza's safety. All right, guys. Um, that, that was a matter. bit interesting. It took a bit of a hurry. while to get through, first but first. we're gonna finish it up here. Make sure we're battle ready. Next episode, we'll continue Dale doing this. Um, once we get a bit further, we'll come back and start doing some collecting, and then continue from there. So, yeah. I hope you guys That's enjoyed. It's getting, now it's getting a bit more enjoyable. So, Let's see how we go, guys. Cheers.